Hello and welcome. My name is Jakob Hack and this is going to be about the latest Audiobus remote update. You've been requesting that you can use Audiobus remote on the same device as the Audiobus session you've got loaded. And here it is. Right here, look at this. Now to get this working, you have to update both Audiobus and Audiobus Remote to the latest versions. And this will only work from iOS 8.3 and upwards. And this is what it would look like on iOS 8.3 and upwards. But the most interesting thing is for iOS 9 users. iOS 9 introduces visual multitasking and Audiobus Remote is now fully compatible with multitasking mode, meaning you can now use Audiobus Remote in slide over view. This is completely awesome. In slide overview, the app you're in will be grayed out and you can no longer access the functions inside that app, but it doesn't make it less usable. Let's say I'm inside patterning and I'm playing a live session. Now I just want to change the loop inside loopy that I'm playing. I just go into slide over mode, change the loop and then back into patterning. That is incredibly useful. And also if we check inside Audiobus, both patterning and loopy are Ableton Link enabled, which means that it's now easier to jam with them together and Audiobus Remote makes it even more fun. Now that is a killer session right there. Now setting up an Audiobus remote session is so easy and you can either launch the Audiobus remote first or the Audiobus app first. Now I usually do it like this. I press the Audiobus button. I load up the app I want. So let's say I load up patterning. Have a look right up here. This is the icon for the Audiobus remote app. So when I press that, it will automatically open up Audiobus remote like this. Now, the more apps you keep adding to an Audiobus session will add controllers that that app might have connected to Audiobus remote. So if your workspace gets cluttered, you can always minimize or maximize controls using this button up here. Now you can also find the Audiobus remote button inside the Audiobus transport panel right here. And I would also like to add that Audiobus remote can still be used on let's say an iPhone to control an Audiobus session on an iPad or vice versa. So that hasn't changed. If you need to know more then I suggest you go to audiob.us slash remote. Have a great day. Jakob Hack signing off.